Next, we will demonstrate the Morelogen window synchronizer for you. The synchronizer is a very practical and important feature of the fingerprint browser. It allows you to synchronize multiple windows with one window, completing multiple window synchronization operations at once. In other words, it enables interaction with multiple accounts simultaneously. So, how can we make better use of the synchronizer? Firstly, in the Morelogen Environment Management, select the window environment you want to open. After selection, you can click on the top to start with just one click, which is very convenient. After waiting for all windows to start, click on the synchronizer in the top right corner of Morelogen. Confirm the window environment as the main control. And then click on the start synchronization in the bottom right corner. After starting the synchronization, you can see that the default layout of the various window interfaces is tiled. You can also choose different window arrangement methods in the central control settings in the middle of the screen, including the default automatic tiling, automatic stacking, and synchronization with the size of the main control, three options. We are currently using the default tiled display, which provides a more intuitive view of the situations of various windows. If different interfaces show different pages due to various environment settings, we can choose unified tabs in tab management. At this point, the page display of each window we see is consistent with the main control window, allowing us to make better use of the synchronizer for efficient work. In tab management, we can also choose to close others, close the current, or close blank tabs. Using the synchronizer, we can quickly create or import accounts from various platforms we already have, including Twitter accounts, DC accounts, and wallet accounts. When creating such account information, because there may be inconsistencies in account and password, we can use the difference text input function in Morelogen during the synchronization process. For example, if I want to import my existing DC account into various window browsers, I can open the DC web version login interface, click on use token to log into the extension, choose the difference text input, select according to the environment, and then see the various environments we are currently synchronizing. Then, in the main control window, confirm where we are about to enter text. Go back to text input, enter the corresponding account information, and click insert after confirmation. We can see the input text being synchronized in various environment windows. After completing the token ID input, we click on the main controls login. And we can see that various windows are synchronously logging into DC. Soon, we have completed the login of the DC account in six environment windows. The method of importing Twitter accounts and wallets can also be operated in this way. Once various basic account information is basically completed, we can start various interactions related to airdrops, such as participating in DeFi interactions. When doing interactions, we can use the difference text function to achieve different operations for accounts in various windows, which can better prevent the probability of account interaction being detected. At the same time, we can also use the synchronizer function to mint NFTs at the fastest speed. Of course, we can also interact with GameFi, buy meme coins, or seize the opportunity to grab inscriptions at the fastest speed. If we don't want the interaction time between various profiles to be consistent, we can enable the simulation control effect of Morelogen, that is, the delay execution function. We can click on the rightmost side of the synchronization settings to open the delay and the default delay duration is 0.1 to 0.3 seconds. We can set the delay duration you want in the synchronizer settings. After pausing the synchronization, go back to the synchronizer settings interface. Then click on the settings button in the upper right corner, and you can see the specific numerical settings of the simulation input. We can set according to our own needs. Here, I set a delay interval of 10 seconds, confirm and save. Then, we continue the synchronization. Click on the upper right corner of the central control settings of the synchronizer to open the delay. And we can see that the tweet of the main control window has been sent out. The second, third, and fourth windows will send out one after another 10 seconds later. This delay time interval is calculated relative to the time of the previous browser. Of course, not only airdrop interactions, but also any other operations we want to synchronize among multiple windows can be done in this way. For example, we can use the synchronizer to participate in Galk's activities. After logging in, 
follow the requirements of the task step by step. Twitter giveaway activities can also be quickly participated in with multiple accounts in this way. You can use the difference text input function to make different comments or replies or set delay execution. In conclusion, this will significantly improve our efficiency and effectively manage our various accounts. That's it for today's sharing. Thank you.